when you're on there now? Sean's going pee. He's using the little boy's room. His mic might be on. He might be picking it up. Let's find out. Can we hear anything? I can't hear anything. Maybe the video's hearing something. We're gonna find out. Shut up, we gotta turn this off before he comes back. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Yeah! First impression, second show. Let's do this. Second time I did that. Still giving you four. So it's a, four. Not the number two, which it's, is the episode, but. It's the second show, man. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Episode two. Two, 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 two. Gotcha. So not to be confused with I don't, two fingers. And I don't want to. Yeah. Joan, I'm four. sorry if you get confused by this. Sorry, kids. We're very bad at math. Or not, but though, but. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Let's do this! All right. Are we playing out? You started up. O U T. I'm gonna start it. Steph Curry. Brick from the. Oh! Okay. Back, boys. You get the ball. All right, man. We're live. We are live from one of the courts on NBA 2K at a secret location about to be developed. Right, it's right, right. It's right, all right, right. We might even be in the game, but we'll talk about that later. Shh. Top three artists okay. that we are bumping today, right now. constantly. Right now. So my first one used to be Chance the Rapper Coloring oh, Book. Okay. Because so I keep you, going back to it. I love it. So I love it. Chuck and Shane. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Rather than rocking that one, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with one of the other ones I was looking at. It's a little more on the Americana folky side. It's a band named Susto. I saw them in D.C. Uh, when I was at a Justin Jones show. And you liked it. I so really what kind of music is this again? It's Americana. It's a little banjo. Bit no, no, well, folks, no, 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 you're, th you're thinking, you're thinking like, uh, something like Willie Nelson. We're not on that. We're not on that Willie Nelson. So no uh, Willie. No, no Willie, no Willie. Although I don't. Willie Lil' Cutting. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Nephew, maybe. Maybe nephew. But this band's uh, like a little bit of a mix of uh, like alternative rock meets okay. folk. Like that, cool, so. so everybody can, uh, it works for everybody. America. Ooh. It works for America. Cheetah. Fights Americana. Cheeto. But their album is, um, and it's fine today. It just came out. It's, uh, it's, it's fresh and it's really, really good. All right, well, check it out. My first one will have to be Brent Faye's AM Paradox. It's an EP, five songs. It is on the R&B tip. Probably the best collection of five songs that someone's put together in a while. I found them on Apple Music. It was dope. So check them out. Brent Faye's AM Paradox. Check that shit out. Okay, my next one is going a little more on the countryside than the wow, folk side. We like, you know, we gotta be polarizing, dude. We gotta be different. You gotta have, you're constantly gonna be talking about RB. No, I know this already. No way. Yes, you will. You I got will. some surprises up my sleeve. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. I do, man. Marin Morris, who right. was on the Grammys, performed with Alicia Keys. Marin had makeup on. Alicia had no foundation. Makeup. And she's fucking flawless. She, she had foundation. She didn't have no makeup on, man. My wife is a, a bit of a makeup head. She said that's a bold face lie. I don't know, oh. man. Maybe a little Jergens lotion I, on that thing. I think you're right. I think I don't know, man. Is right. I think that's exactly. I think she put a I little bit of Jergens on that thing and kept it moving. Maybe she mixed the Jergens with some. Maybe it's Maybelline. Wow. Anyway, her album, Hero, it's a little more broad, a little bit more aggressive, got a little bit of potty mouth. That's all right, though. That's all right, Ooh, though. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Potty mouth? Yeah. Okay, so she like, bitch, shit ass, cush, bap, sub, bibbidi, boo, bop. Yes. She gangsta, so it's gangsta country. Uh, that's the closest you're gonna get. She's uh, like the little Kim. Whoa. Of, of whoa. Music. I gotta check this pre, out then. Pre Caucasian little Kim. Though. My whole life, I've been looking for some, some trap country. <laughs> Her album is great. It's awesome. Top to bottom. I'd say check that out. Bumper, 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 bumper. Please bumper. check that out. My next one will have to be Anderson Pack Malibu. This album is very eclectic, covers a wide range of versatility on his part. They label him as a rapper, but I really think he can, he's just an artist, man, because he, he, so he does like, what, instead of rap, he does what, R&B? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He does. Oh. But I mean, he's a rapper. So <laughs> we want to say he a rapper now. So this is my rap album pick. Very creative. It's different. Anderson Pat. He's a dope MC. Check him out. Please. Malibu. All right. So my next pick is a new one. I, I've only been listening to this band for like a couple of days. My story, like early 90s, super emo kid. This band harkens back to my love heart. Uh, so you were, first got to, you were an emo I'm kid. excited for whatever pictures you're going to throw up on the side of, uh, of was, Avril Lavigne uh, and all those. That's fine. Do what you need to do. He was an emo kid. Did you have the hair dangling over your eyeball? Have you seen my hairline? Oh. Like, it would never go down in this direction <laughs> like that at all. But aside from that, 
This band is the Sorority Noise. Their album is called You're Not As Blank As You Think. The blank is literally a line. Uh, I thought it was a curse word, like we're family friendly or something. No, so you can throw it in everything. You can like say it to me. Oh, so you're, you're not as like, black as you think. I you're can not say, as black as you think, man. Um, you can say, <laughs> no black card for you, buddy. But this band is very much reminiscent of like brand new Dejan Tendu era. Ooh. Um, it goes a little bit slower, more melodic. So like, it's like uh, R&B. Poppy. Shirt man, yeah. Just, it's like R&B. <laughs> this is my R&B pick. This is my R&B pick. <laughs> Cool. Your last one. My last it. one. Check it out, man. I'm making a change. You made a change, so I'm going to make a change. Original pick, Starboy. The weekend. Remember but that song. ain't my pick no more. My pick now is Rick Ross. Rick Ross, better you than me. Hey, hey, I'm so excited about this album. He is. It just dropped a few days ago, but I've been rocking it non-stop. It's that old Ricky Rose. He back. He pouring up the rose in the club, making you want to be rich. But you know you're not going to be rich. But when you listen to it, you think you got a chance to be rich. Like, you, he's bumping this so much that I stopped, like, selecting his snap. He just it's constantly... Look it up. Rick Ross, better you than me. Let's move on. Next topic? Next topic. Let's go! Sully has an O. You about to have one now. Cash me outside. Or, or not, but. You guys look amazing. Oh. From the art! Gotcha. Good. Barely. You trying to play a game? Yeah. I bet. Okay, so here's the game we're gonna play. We're gonna pick some tweets or uh, comments made by our boy Cheeto. And after you, you say this tweeter, you're then going to associate with it an emoji that you think best <laughs> encompasses your own physical feeling or response to, to said comment. The comment. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna start us off so you can get, get a vibe for okay. it. Can you imagine what the outcry would be if at Snoop Dogg, failing career and all, had aimed and fired the gun at President Obama? Jail time. Uh, okay, I know what this is referring to. We yeah. should probably catch people up. Snoop Dogg pretty much made a parody video. There was a segment in the video where Donald Trump was standing there. Snoop Dogg pointed a gun at him. He was in the clown, which is like in Trump face. Right, Trump face. Took the gun, pointed it at Donald Trump, and pulled the trigger and shot him. But it was a clown gun, so a little flag came bang, out and said bang. bang. Yeah, he got butt hurt over it, as usual. Shocker. And tweeted this. I'll tell you what I give it. Black face palm. Black one. Can't believe it. Why, why, why the black one, man? First off, it makes sense because it's Snoop Dogg. And second, it makes sense because of who I am. So, wow. um, we gotta be culturally black, relevant here. Black so. card member. I'm gonna do the thinking emoji. Like, did he really just say that? Is that really important? <laughs> like, you're the president of the United States. You ain't got nothing better to talk to. It's Snoop Dogg. Next one. Any negative polls are fake news, just like CNN, ABC, NBC polls in the election. Sorry, people want border security and extreme vetting. Can I ask a question then? So does that mean if that anyone who's critical of the president is by default fake news? Are we fake news? What's your emoji? The Pinocchio nose emoji. Just to tease them, and we're fake news, man. So we telling nothing but lies, baby. So we Pinocchio nose in this thing. Beep boop. I want to be a real boy. Mine's got to be the smiling poop emoji. Because I just look at it and I'm like, ain't that some shit? Mm. So you got two emojis? You said smile and poop. It's the smiley poop. Oh, the smiley poop. I don't know if that poop's smiling. We're gonna check into that. He is happy as can be. Oh yeah, he has some happy <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, next one. Let's, Let's go. Here. This is a good one. Everybody knows this one. I will build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me, and I'll build them very inexpensively, mm -hmm. and I'll build a great, great wall mm -hmm. on the southern border, and I'll make Mexico pay for that wall, mark my words. So nobody builds walls better than me? Like, is this like... Look, if you know anything about Donald Trump, he is the best at everything he does, which is commendable. If you're gonna do something, be the best at it. And apparently he's the best at every fucking thing possible. He probably <laughs> takes a shit, a smiley shit, every time he shits, he takes his fucking smiley shit. Kudos to you, sir. I used to see a little poop emoji. And then you just look in the toilet, and then there's a whole bunch of just shit emojis just hanging out. Can I get mine? I got three. I'm breaking oh all kinds God. of laws right you now. You're so extra. Hey, look. Okay, first one we're gonna do, we're gonna do the salsa emoji, because we just gonna dance around this thing. We're gonna dance around the wall. We're gonna go over the wall, under the wall, through the wall, blow the wall up, and then just salsa dance through that. Beep, beep. 
feedback. <laughs> and then after we saucer through the wall, you're gonna have our Mexican flag emoji waving at some bitch, talking about America, we're here. Hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. What's your third one? Tacos, bitch. Taco Tuesday. Taco stands everywhere. So that's my three. Salsa dance through that, okay. bitch. Okay. Viva la Mexico. And tacos, because who the fuck don't like tacos aside from Donald Trump? Mine is the, uh, I'm giving him the eyes. He's getting the side eyes like, are you, are you saying this right now? Is this real? All of the women on The Apprentice flirted with me, consciously or unconsciously. Either way, it's to be expected. I got your emoji right here. Okay, go for it. The sick emoji that wants to puke <laughs> everywhere. The emoji. Why did this guy think he like the sexiest dude on the planet, <laughs> yo? Like every woman wants this guy. Cause they don't. My emoji for this one, that eggplant, right? Cause the ladies want his eggplant. Oh no. And then stab it with a goddamn knife emoji. Oh my God. Stab it with a knife emoji, man. That's for the women. Power to the people. <laughs> Oh. We're in DC. Oh, we're right, right outside uh, MCI Center. <laughs> it's called the Verizon Center. <laughs> it used to be called the MCI Center, though. One and one and one, it's your boy Sully. What's up, it's your boy SP. Live at Verizon Center with my man Sully. First impression. We got the Brooklyn Nets in the house versus the Wiz. We thought we'd meet up with a couple people here, ask them some questions, get some opinions, a little trivia, see if they know a couple things about the Wiz or not. Stick around. Let's do this. Back in this, I'm with my boy Rob right here. I'm gonna ask him a couple questions, easy ones. Who's the starting point guard for the Washington Wizards? Martin Gortat. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> John Wall, fool. Who's the starting point guard of the Washington Wizards? John Wall. John Wall. John Wall. Excuse me, sir, I gotta ask you a question. Can you please tell me why you have a LeBron James jersey on? Um, because I'm a Cavs fan. You are aware that the Cavs are not playing tonight, correct? I, I am aware. Who's the starting point guard for the Washington Wizards? John Wall. John Wall. John Wall. <laughs> Who is the starting point guard for the Washington Wizards? John Wall. What was the name of the Washington Wizards before they were the Washington Wizards. Hold on, man. What the? What? Who said that? Who said that? What was the name of the Wizards before they changed it? Uh, Pelican? No, it's Oilers. I don't remember. I don't remember. The Washington Bullets. Bullets. Bullets, right? The Bullets. Who is the head coach of the Washington Wizards? No idea. <laughs> I am totally drawing a blank at the moment. It's the guy that wears the suit. Scotty Too Hotty Brooks. Who's the head coach of the Washington Wizards? Scott Brooks. Who's the head coach of the Washington Wizards? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I don't know that. One. I think we might have got him. Who's the owner of the Washington Wizards? Ernie Grunfield. What? I have no idea. Also owns the Caps. Really? Uh, what's his name? Uh, damn! It's March Madness. Based on that, what two players of Michigan's Fab Five played? For the wizard slash bullets. We got that. We got that. I don't know it. Oh, I gotta take it out a little bit. Come on. I know you know this one. You gotta know this one. Chris Webber. Chris, Chris Webber. Yeah, Chris Webber. And, and, and the light skin kid. Google that shit. Come on. Juwan Dixon? No! no. <laughs> I don't know. Chris Webber, Jawan Howard. Jawan Howard. Jawan Howard. All right, all right, all right. It's your boy SP. This is your boy Sully. First impression. Wiz game. Verizon Center. We're gonna hop inside. It was a lot of fun. We catching this game. We'll be doing this again, promise. We see y'all later, and I'm out of here.